So here's a question. When's the last time someone sent you a video and you went to go watch that video and it was gone? It just wasn't there anymore. It was either deleted or removed for some unknown reason, but you couldn't watch it. It just wasn't available. When's the last time you went to an Instagram page or a Facebook page to find something that you know you saw, but now you can't find it? Maybe it was removed. Maybe it was pushed down in their feed. Maybe it was a, a live on Instagram that now it's been 24 hours, so it's gone. Do you ever wonder, what if I could save this information? What if I could have access to it after the fact, after it disappears or vanishes in within 24 hours, or after it's mysteriously removed? Sometimes we find good videos, good articles, good interviews, and we want to go back and maybe listen to it again, watch again, read it again. But when we do that, it's just not there for us. It's frustrating. And it's one thing if you're trying to search it and you can't find it. It's another thing if it's just been removed from the internet and completely gone. As of late, we've seen Facebook pages, Instagram pages, YouTube accounts just completely disappear. Why? We don't know. No reason is given. Uh, there's really, they don't have to give any warning to do it to you. It could happen to any of us at any day of the week. This is something that I saw and it was a concern. As a police officer for 13 years, I knew that access to knowledge and information was critical. I would try to search the web and read articles and watch videos of some of the higher trained people out there. I've had the blessing to go and train with some of these people. But what I never liked was the disparity in training within the police network, meaning some police officers with certain agencies had high level training because they had the funding uh, or they had the ability. But then other officers, maybe with smaller agencies or just agencies that weren't committed to training, had very little training. This was always a problem when you would go to an interagency event and you would see other officers operating in a way and you clearly knew they did not have the same level of training as you. Now this was also a problem within police departments. Those of you who are officers know that sometimes even with your, within your own agency, some officers get the bump to get certain training and special treatment while other officers don't get any training and they don't get the special assignments and they don't get the high level information and knowledge they need to be a better officer. Why that happens, who knows, and that's another story. But what I do know is that every police officer out there deserves access to knowledge and training that can help keep them alive. No one can question that. That is why I wanted to develop a system, a nexus if you would, where some of the best training that I find from around the country and around the world really can be put into one place and that you as a law enforcement officer would have access to. I understand it's not cheap to get good training. Nothing good is cheap. But if I could put some of this information in a hub, a library if you would, and give you access to it so now you would be able to access personal videos, interviews, gear reviews from some of the best in the business, Navy SEALs, Green Berets, Army Rangers, you name it, some of the people I've had the ability to train with. And now you could have the access without the extreme cost of plane tickets and hotels and uh, ammo to be on the range and range fees. That's all very expensive and not everyone can afford that. I understand that. Like I said, I was fortunate enough to be able to go to some of these courses around the country and train with some of these high level individuals to make myself better, stronger, a better asset so I could be better prepared to take care of my coworkers, my squad mates. But it also made me better in home, in my own home. So when it came to protecting family and friends and loved ones and neighbors, I was becoming better. It was, it didn't just stop at my role as a police officer because you know what, when you take the uniform off, you're coming home and you have people around you that you love and care about. When I have the uniform on, for the most part, I'm taking care of and protecting strangers. But that was the job I was committed to. Why not be committed to being safer and a better asset and a better protector guardian of those when you come home? It makes sense, it made sense to me. And that's why I wanted to create the 221B Sheepdog Nexus. When you find good content, 
you want to make sure you always have access to it. Good content is always coming out. Finding it is the hard part. The 221B Sheepdog Nexus is going to be the hub where you have access to some of the best training content out there. And it's coming from some of the most highly knowledgeable and highly trained individuals. What would you be able to do if you knew you could have access 24-7 to this knowledge, this information? How much better would you be? How much safer would you be? Not only on the job, but also at home, on the home front. That's what this is about. So if you are a law enforcement officer and you are committed to the job and getting home alive, being a better asset to your agency, to your squad mates, to your partners, the 221B Sheepdog Nexus is for you. If you, when you come home, want to be a better guardian, a better protector, a better asset within your home, for your family, your friends, your neighbors, the 221B Tactical Sheepdog Nexus is for you. Now, in the beginning, it's going to be free. As we approach 30,000 people, we want to make sure that the content is readily accessible. However, as the platform grows, we know that there's going to be costs involved. It's going to take money, servers and website uh, maintenance and build out. So soon there will be a nominal fee for new people joining, new members joining. There will be a nominal fee, a few dollars a month. That's it. But that's really just to help us maintain and grow. But with that, you'll also have the access to add content of your own. So you see a great video on Facebook or you see a good video on YouTube and you say, you know what? Last video I saw disappeared or last video I saw was a couple years ago and when I went to go search it or share it with a friend, I couldn't find it. So, or the URL was dead. Now you'll have the ability to capture that content and bring it into your own little personal library within the Sheepdog Nexus. Searchable any time of the day and you can actually use that content at a later time and know where it is. You can learn from it without having to spend hours trying to search for it again and then ultimately can't find it. That's what the Sheepdog Nexus is about. So we hope you join us. We hope you consider to be part of the nearly 30,000 already who from around the country and across the world have said, I need better training. I need more knowledge. I want to be a better asset all around on the job and off the job no matter where i am whether i'm in uniform in my patrol car or if i'm at the movie theater or the shopping center or the amusement park with my family and friends i want to be a better asset i want to be ready so when evil strikes when danger strikes i know what to do i am not going to be looking around saying what do i do now you never want to be in that position. And that moment is not the moment to wish you had better training. The training comes before and then in the event, the event occurs, you are ready. You're prepared. So we hope you join us. There's going to be a lot more content coming out about the 221B Sheepdog Nexus. We're going to be putting it out to our members. So you sign up simply by giving us your email. And that's it. Now, when you, we send you your email, your first email introducing you, we ask that you check your spam box because, of course, the email providers these days, they are limiting how much spam you're getting. However, you don't want to limit something that you sign up for. So go ahead. If you don't receive that welcome email from us, check that spam box or that junk folder and you may see us in there. Mark us as a safe sender or a uh, liked content, a good guy, and that way all of our future emails and our future content will come directly into your inbox without any concerns. We're excited about this Sheepdog Nexus. We know it's going to be of value to law enforcement across the country, around the world, but also for those law enforcement officers that want to be in the civilian role outside of uniform, better, safer, and more prepared. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the Nexus.